Okay, on this question, what we are doing here is we are going to be equating coefficients to the topic here of these identities, all right, to try and find out values of A and B. So if we do 2A, okay, what we do is we multiply out the brackets. We get AX plus 4A plus 5X plus 5B is equivalent to 4X plus 11. And then what we do is we equate coefficients of different variables. So we look at the x's. Okay, so we, if we equate, so I've written that in, equate coefficients. Coefficients, how many lots you've got of something. So equating coefficients of x. So if we equate the coefficients of x, we can see we've got a lots of x, and we've got five lots of x, and then we've got four lots of x. So therefore, we have a plus 5 equals 4 in terms of the x's. So from that, we can see that a equals minus 1. And if we look at the numbers, or the constants, if we look at the numbers, we can see we've got 4 lot, four a numbers, 5b, and 11. Those are all the numbers, because a is a number, b is a number, and 11 is a number. So we've got 4a plus 5b, equals 11. We know a is minus 1, so we've got minus 4 plus 5b equals 11. Add 4 to both sides, we get 5b equals 15, so we can see b equals 3. So there's our two answers for a and b. Let's look at 2b next. Okay. So we're going to write out, multiply out the brackets again, AX minus 6A plus 3B minus 6X is equivalent to X minus 9. And again, we'll start off with the X's. So we look at all the X's. And we see you've got A lots, minus 6 lots. And that is just one lot there. Okay, so you've got A lots minus six lots equals one lot of x so you can see that a equals seven now we do the numbers and we highlight those we did it in green last time didn't we so we got minus six a plus three b and minus nine for our numbers so let's do that so what was it it was minus six a plus three b equals minus 9 and we know a is 7 6 times 7 is 42 so we've got minus 42 plus 3b equals minus 9 so add 42 onto that side we get 3b equals 33 so b equals 11 so our final answers are a equals 7 and b equals 11 now I'm just going to uh, write out C. So C is going to, let's jump to the hardest one, the last one, shall we? Usually the hardest. Although C and D are pretty similar questions. Just to look at D. So we've got AX plus 1. AX plus 1. BX plus 2. Um, 17 x plus 20 and this is d we're doing now that and let's multiply that out so we get a x plus a plus b x plus 2 b equals and what we've got here we've got 17 x plus 20 let's equate all the a's so the a we've got a x b x 17 so for all the x's, we've got, equating all the x's, we've got a plus b must equal 17. If we look at the numbers, we've got, I like those, I've done the wrong colours, but it doesn't matter, a, 2b, and 20. So we get a plus 2b equals 20. So we have simultaneous equations, 1 and 2. If we do 2 minus 1, a minus a minus a is 0, 2b minus b is b, 20 minus 17 is 3, so b equals 3. Put that back into 1, 
that's the easiest one and we get a plus 3 equals 17 take away 3 from both sides a must equal 14 and that's how we do that now there's another clever way to do this okay that's one way that's a foolproof way it always works on all these types of questions there's another clever way that can um, allow you to work things out this equal these three lines means the, the left hand side is the same as the right hand side no matter what value of x we've got now when you've got things in brackets you can make that brackets equal to zero so if we make that x equal to minus 2, you get minus 2 plus 2 is 0. That means you get 0 lots of b. So that eliminates b and leaves you just a. So if we let x equal minus 2, we get a, open brackets, minus 2 plus 1. We can see that the, well, I'll write it out as well, b minus 2 plus 2. And that's going to equal um, 17 times minus 2. Plus 20. So we can see here we've got minus a, minus 1 plus 1, plus 0, will equal 17 times minus 2 is minus 34, plus 20 is minus 14, and you can see a equals 14. And you can see that it gives you exactly the same answer as we did before, a equals 14. And you can do something similar to b, so to do the same thing for b, we'd make the x in the a bracket equal to minus 1 and that will give you 0 and then you end up with minus 1 plus 2 is 1 so it's 1b would equal minus 17 plus 20 is going to be 3 so 1b equals 3 so b would come out as 3 as well so you can see there are two ways to do these questions and this one only works if making a bracket 0 eliminates that variable and leaves you just the other variable so only try it when doing that